Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily with me, John Jordan. So the news today is um, Animoca Brands is uh, partnering up with Polygon. Um, in specific terms, this is for the product F1 Delta Time, which is the game, the F1 licensed game. It's, it's been operating for the last year, year and a half, actually. Um, and the Rev token, which is the uh, token that is the kind of the uh, underpins F1 Delta Time as a product and also is being used for other motorsports games. So there's a MotoGP game in development and also a um, Formula E, the um, electric car formula, um, also using Rev token. So Rev token uh, up to this point has been running on the uh, Ethereum blockchain. And F1 Delta Time also has been running on the, the Ethereum blockchain. Um, Ethereum obviously going through um, lots of issues at the moment with gas fees, very expensive. Um, and pretty much any game that's operating on Ethereum has either moved to a um, what we call a L2, a layer 2 solution, or is um, creating its own layer 2 solution. Um, so Polygon, this is where it gets a bit, a bit confusing, a bit kind of kind of wordy. So, so Polygon is actually what we used to know as Matic. So for some reason, Matic Network has decided that Matic Network is a bit of a boring name and they're going to like upscale their branding and they're going to call themselves Polygon. Which is, um, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say, <laughs> which is kind of generic. Polygon is kind of generic. Um, at least with Matic, you could, it was a good search term and, and everyone knew sort of what you meant when you said Matic. Whereas Polygon is a bit like, loads of things are called Polygon. But anyway, that's not for me. I'm <laughs> for me to comment on, really. Um, but I may just use the term Matic because I think it's a bit simpler. So Animoca Brands and uh, Polygon have announced that the uh, the Rev token and the um, the Rev token is going to go to Matic Polygon, and the um, the only actually the only game that's using Rev token at the moment is F1 Delta Time. So obviously that's the first game that's going to move over. So um, we've actually seen this. Um, there's quite a few of the games that were running on Ethereum move to Matic. So there is blockchain Qtis is now running on Matic as well as Ethereum, but basically the Ethereum players have moved them to Matic. Um, Zero X Universe is uh, basically is dead on Ethereum because the gas fees are too expensive, so it's moved to Matic. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the other ones. <laughs> Neon District has moved to Matic. Um, there there are tons of games that have announced they're moving to Matic. Um, um, Mega Cryptopolis is another one. Um, and and like a, a layer two solution is is is, is a is a blockchain that is sort of a I mean compatible is probably the wrong word but but Matic works well with Ethereum um, but it's it's a different sort of it's a different blockchain so it's not as secure as Ethereum because Ethereum has um, at least at the moment it's a proof of work blockchain moving to proof of stake obviously um, but has great security has enormous value billions and billions of dollars in sort of, sort of um, in token value. Um, hundreds of billions of dollars, um, but it but it's very slow and the gas fees are now you know um, probably probably finding it hard to do a transaction on Ethereum or you know, even even a straight transfer it costs um, like five ten dollars now. Um, so it's impractical for for um, games. And with Matic, the gas fees there still are gas fees, but they're effectively they're, they're, the price is, is, is irrelevant. Um, and also because the way. The blockchain is structured the um, it's much quicker so you're not, you're not waiting around for transactions to be cleared and, and worrying if you paid enough gas and you have to increase the gas uh, with matic basically you the transactions go through sort of immediately um there is a, actually a, a big issue that isn't really spoken about i think um that if you have assets on ethereum and you want to put them on a layer two such as matic or polygon um, you have to pay a gas fee to get them off. So, so actually, I think layer two solutions for existing Ethereum games are not particularly helpful um, because if you're, um, I mean, they are in a way economically it kind of makes sense, but you're still paying fifty dollars <laughs> to take your assets off Ethereum and put them on Matic. So that's obviously a one-off cost, and once they're on Matic, you're not paying anything, any gas fees there. But still, for a lot of people, 
if you bought the asset for ten dollars, you're not going to necessarily pay fifty dollars to take it off to another blockchain. So actually, um, what's more interesting, I think, is people once games move on to something like Matic stroke Polygon, um, if you're then onboarding people to play your game on Matic stroke Polygon, um, rather than getting the existing Ethereum people to move stuff over. I mean, that I, I've I've done that a few times. It's just painful. Um, but if you go into a marketplace that's already on Matic and, and then start buying the assets that are on Matic, um, that kind of makes more sense. So it'd be interesting to see exactly how this works. I mean, in this case, you know, F1 Delta Time is not just talking about um, uh, NFTs, they're also talking about the token. That also gets a bit more complicated because at that point, although there are, it's fairly simple to bridge between different blockchains. So basically you're taking tokens on one blockchain, say in this case, uh, the REV tokens on Ethereum, you're uh, burning them. And then minting kind of, um, I don't know what they're going to call it, a wrapped version of, of, of Rev or a polygon version of Rev. So, so basically, if I, have a, if I have like, you know, one, or in this case, it would be something like a thousand Rev tokens on Ethereum. I'm going to burn them and a thousand Rev tokens are going to be created on, on Matic stroke polygon. Um, so technically, that's quite easy to do. Um, conceptually, it starts to make your head hurt. Um, um, but, but that can be done. Um, I guess what's it, what what we interesting to see is, I think this press release is sort of positioned as um, we've got this existing kind of user base on Ethereum, and they can all come come across to Polygon Stroke Matic um, and do their stuff. I, that's not going to happen, I don't think, in, in most cases. That's just too much friction. But what it means is once you have once the developers have done the work to bridge between the two, then you can start onboarding people, new players probably directly to Matic stroke Polygon um, and and they're not paying these gas fees from the off and and it sort of means a lot of your um, existing NFTs become legacy because a lot of them are not worth enough to pay the gas fees to get them onto the onto the layer 2 solution which means you have to start minting a whole bunch of, of, of you have to create a bunch of new NFTs on, on the uh, on the L2 but for, for players who don't have any history with the game it doesn't make any odds and I think we're going through the, the start of this inflection point for blockchain where it becomes a bit more interesting for the mass market and and um, clearly no, they're not going to deal with Ethereum and, and, and nor should they, um, but they can just start playing on, on Matic. And I guess say, we're seeing that with games like um, um, kind of a Neon District, I guess, um, particularly at the moment, um, but other games are just going to be launching straight onto, onto Matic, I think. So there we go. A bit wordy. Again... Um, there, I like I like this. Polygon is one of the first well structured, easy to use platforms for Ethereum scaling. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of well structured as if all those other ones were badly structured. Um, uh, and, and it itself, kind of Polygon uh, Strokematic, is is still um, in a lot of development. So they mention things here. There are different ways of doing um, layer twos, different ways of doing scaling. Um, so there are, if you if you really want to um, lose <laughs> a weekend and get very bored, there are different definitions of things like side chains, um, and there are then you get into funky stuff like uh, zk rollups, optimistic rollups, plasma. Um, these are all different technologies, it's different ways of scaling, which basically means different ways of allowing lots of people to use your blockchain um, at very low cost. Um, and, and itself, Polygon is like a work in progress. So Polygon Strokematic is still doing a lot of these things. ZK rollups, optimistic rollups are, are very, very new. No one's really done them at, at, at scale yet. So, so this kind of press release um, is, I find it interesting, having worked, having done PR in the past. <laughs> this is very much a press release about a press release. Um, the, 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 there's, um, there's nothing very um, concrete about this yet, um, but I think it's interesting to highlight as it does show um, some serious companies in the blockchain space um, trying to put out a press release about something that is serious because all blockchain games on Ethereum are basically dealing with this. And they're not all going to Polygon Stroke Matic. Um, they are finding different ways. Um, and we will see lots of interesting stuff around these kind of you know, kind of geeky things that some of us love, like CK Rollups and Optimism Rollups um, and uh, even Plasma. Um, but uh, it does provide a new opportunity. But it, it, it is interesting that people kind of are positioning this in, in a certain way. But, you know, Animoca Brands have raised a lot of money and they're continuing to kind of um, highlight the 
the potential of blockchain games, so it makes sense for them. And obviously, um, formerly the, the uh, blockchain formerly known as Matic have also just rebranded, and they and they're very keen to position themselves as like a a, a kind of a forward thinking um, new blockchain who who are going to be competing with the likes of Cosmos and Polkadot. I think um, I think that's where they're going on that one. So there we go. Uh, in fact, we even have a little thing here: polygons. Layer two chains have seen widespread adoption. Um, yeah, not in terms of users, but they got. They reckon there's 90 DApps, seven million transactions, and 200,000 unique users. I'd be very surprised <laughs> if the 200,000 unique users was true. But what do I know? Um, thanks for uh, watching the video. This is Blockchain Gaming World Daily, where we uh, often um, spend a lot of time waffling about things um, <laughs> which you think are interesting. Um, Hope you find it interesting. Please do subscribe to the channel. See you again soon. Thank you.